every family has a framed portrait. But behind that photo lies the real truth. You loved her on the Super Nanny Show. Now Joe Frost, America's favorite English nanny, is returning with a new series called Family SOS with Joe Frost. If the two of you as grown adults want to split your own marriage up, that's one thing. But now you're screwing up six kids in the process. Great to have you here, Joe. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank so you. this new show, you're taking on some of the nation's most fractured families out there. What's yes. the concept behind it? Yes, um, really, Family SOS is about helping the entire family. And that's what's important to me, being able to look at families who need help and certainly are feeling very challenged, but making sure that everybody is heard. And so whereas before you saw me helping parents with toddlers and um, certainly unruly behavior, this time you're going to see me help the entire family. So the format is a lot looser, um, it's rawer, it's grittier, um, even down to the way really that, you know, it's, um, it looks, even by the way it even looks, you know, and um, I think America's ready for it. You know, it's a natural, it's naturally kind of evolved to this place. In the first episode, we meet the Quinn Davis family. Yes, we What's do, yes. their story? Yes, um, they're a family that are in crisis. Um, they are a blended family. Um, certainly, um, there are complications within the marriage, but also the children and their relationships with the parents. And I go through a journey with them to be able to uh, really bring together these teenagers who need to communicate more with their parents. And that, without giving it away, um, really, so that people can watch, um, you, you learn, you know, you're educated through the process of watching me help this family, what we all need to do to feel more connected with our families and to get us through those really tough times. Um, this is a blended family, which is obviously uh, plentiful in America. We have um, a very high divorce rate, and so we have many blended families. And um, certainly watching me help them, I think it's gonna be an eye-opener for a lot of families in the way that we can move forward and, and, and heal. Have you felt like you ever met a family or a child that you really couldn't help? Um, no, I think I'm, I'm a realist, so I'm very realistic with understanding some of the issues that may need special help, you mm -hmm. know. Um, if I was dealing with any kind of addiction, then I certainly would have no problem in making sure that that family received the specialized help that they needed. But I think it's certainly for me, when I walk into a home and help a family that have challenges, it's about being able to break that down and understand where are the fractures and how can we help this family repair? How can we connect them together? How can we deal through the hurt, the anger, so that we can really start to talk and we can really start to, well, heal and start loving again, you know? I like that concept. Mm -hmm. You know, you've worked in the UK, you've worked in the US. What yes. are some of the differences or similarities that you faced or you experienced in both places? Um, I think culturally we're a little bit different, you know, with respects to um, certainly how society is. But when it comes to families, I think we're certainly in the same boat. You know, we're hurt economically. We're certainly looking to see how we can keep our heads above water with maintaining our jobs and bringing in our financial income, meeting the, the needs and demands of our children. Children, um, and you know keeping our relationships together and learning how to deal with those coping strategies when things have, have been incredibly tough for a lot of families not just here in America but in the UK as well and I think certainly it's had a major ripple effect on families well you've helped a lot of families through the years uh, which one yes. of your number one pieces of advice for raising children or you know what, what, even helping families um, I think to put your hand up first I mean, I, I have to salute every family who's been brave enough to put their hand up and say, we need help. You know, we, we certainly need some objective advice. We need to be able to understand where we're going wrong and what we can do to actually fix the, the really the despair that's going on in the families. Um, I, I think if you can put your hand up and be very realistic about what is damaging the family and why you are in crisis, then you can identify that and start to look at how we can resolve the issues. And being able to communicate and give your family time. I mean, you have to give the family time in order to put your ducks in a row and recognize what needs to be worked on. And that's what these families do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Words of wisdom from Joe Frost. Joe Frost's new show, Family SOS with Joe Frost, premieres May 28th on TLC. For this and all things entertainment, stay with CBSNews.com.